So we want to determine whether the space curve given by r of t equals sine of t cosine t over 2 and t intersects the z-axis and if it does determine where. Okay. So in order to intersect the z-axis x and y both have to be set to 0. So that means sine of t is 0 and cosine of t over t over 2 is 0. Sine is 0 at 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. Which we can represent as k1 pi. So k1 is some integer. So basically some multiple of pi. And cosine is 0 at pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, etc. So we're going to set t over 2 equal to pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, etc. So then I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get t is equal to pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, etc. Which we can represent as 2 times k2, so mother integer, plus 1 times pi, so where k2 is some integer. So r of t is going to intersect the z-axis when both x equals 0 and y equals 0. So we have to see when both of these are 0. Uh, so let's see. So in other words, we have to see what they have in common. They have a common pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, etc. So really, if I were to see what they have in common, I would end up getting 2k plus 1 times pi. And that's what t is equal to.